as another NFL season kicks off, all 32 teams will be looking to get out to a hot start. Sadly, only half the teams will actually walk away from week one with a W under their belt. The rest will suffer an early blow to their playoff hopes, and some of those losses will be downright ugly. We've seen many week one duds through NFL history. Even some of the best have fallen victim to it. So, here's a look back at 10 of the worst opening week performances in NFL history. Number 10. Detroit Lions Monday Night Debacle 2018 the Detroit Lions hosted the New York Jets in the first Monday night football game in week one of the 2018 season. The Jets were led by a rookie quarterback in Sam Darnold, so this should have been an easy win for the new Lions head coach, Matt Patricia. The Lions had just fired Jim Caldwell despite a winning season in 2017. The hope was that Patricia, the longtime New England Patriots defensive coordinator, would be able to bring that winning culture over to Detroit. The Lions got off to the perfect start in this contest. On his very first NFL pass attempt, Darnold threw a brutal interception to Quandre Diggs, who took it to the house for six. Gonna let him roll out and look downfield. The throw, then it's intercepted on the very first play of Sam Darnold's debut. The crowd at Ford Field erupted. And who could blame them? Their team looked like they're gonna roll to an easy week one win. But this is the Lions we're talking about. After going up 7 0, Murphy's Law kicked in for Detroit. Everything that could go wrong. Did. Darnold settled down the rest of the way, and the Jets rushing game torched the Lions front seven for 169 yards, led by Isaiah Crowell's 102 yards on only 10 carries. Matthew Stafford also had a downright atrocious performance, throwing four interceptions against only one touchdown. Even backup Matt Castle threw a pick when he came on to relieve Stafford. Right, knowing <laughs> the division they play in. Another interception. It's Jamal Adams. His first career pick! Lions finished with only 10 less yards of offense than the Jets. And yet, once the clock hit zero, it was the visitors who cruised to an easy 48-17 victory. Those Jets, by the way, finished 2018 with a 4-12 record, placing them last in the AFC East. And the Lions weren't much better, going 6-10 on the year. Number 9. Jacksonville Jaguars quarterbacks versus Kansas City Chiefs, 2013. The Kansas City Chiefs were the worst team in football in the 2012 season, which prompted major changes across the organization. The front office hired Andy Reid as their new head coach, and the Chiefs found a new quarterback by trading for former San Francisco 49ers starter Alex Smith. The Chiefs were widely expected to turn a corner in 2013. First on the schedule was a road contest against the lowly Jacksonville Jaguars. Had Reid and Kansas City known ahead of time how easy it would be, they they could have skipped all the film sessions and practices that week. Both Jacksonville quarterbacks failed to get anything going against the Chiefs defense. Starter Blaine Gabbert completed just 16 of 35 pass attempts for 121 yards, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions. Oh, and he was sacked six times. Backup Chad Henney wasn't much better. He completed three of six attempts for six yards. The two quarterbacks combined for a 36.3 rating. Yikes. Oh, and the Jaguars' lone points on the day came courtesy of a safety. In their game together, Reed and Smith led the team to a 28-2 victory. The Chiefs only had 292 yards of offense in that game. But when you play the Jaguars, that's usually more than enough. Number 8. Todd Gurley vs. San Francisco 49ers, 2016 Todd Gurley had a rookie season for the ages in 2015. The former Los Angeles star rushed for 1,106 yards and 10 touchdowns despite missing three games. That was enough to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. So naturally, expectations were much higher for Gurley entering his 2016 sophomore season. The Rams, who had relocated from St. Louis to Los Angeles, opened up the season with a Monday night game against the NFC West rival San Francisco 49ers. This should have been a field day for Gurley, considering the 49ers were one of football's worst teams that year. But instead, Gurley cost countless fantasy owners their week one games with a dismal performance. The Rams handed the ball to Gurley 17 times. He mustered only 47 yards. Yeah, that's right. The man averaged 2.8 yards per carry. He had zero touchdowns. Second and six. Gurley, he is just snowed over by, you guessed it, Navarro Bowman. But oh, it gets worse. Known for his ability to produce in the pass catching game, Gurley only had one reception on three targets. The catch went for a loss of five yards. Keenum, screen, Gurley, totally sniffed out. 
by Ray Ray Armstrong. Yeah, needless to say, it wasn't Gurley's best day, and the 49ers ran away with an easy 28 to nothing shutout victory. Number seven, Scott Tolzien versus Los Angeles Rams, 2017. With superstar quarterback Andrew Luck sidelined for the entirety of the 2017 season, the Indianapolis Colts had no choice but to roll with their second and third stringers. Newsflash, it did not go well. Not at all. The Colts opened up their forgettable 2017 season with a road contest against the Los Angeles Rams. Veteran backup Scott Tolzien was inserted as their starter, and yeah, it really wasn't pretty. On third and ten, rush is coming. Tolzien steps up and throws. Intercepted! Tremaine Johnson down the sidelines! It's a pick six! Playing behind a woeful offensive line and against Aaron Donald, Tolzien didn't stand a chance. He completed just 9 of 18 pass attempts for 128 yards, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions while getting sacked four times. That was bad enough for a brutal 11.5 quarterback rating. He felt the players fit his system. Tolzien intercepted! LaMarcus Joyner, goodbye! Touchdown Rams! Backup Jacoby Brissett had to finish out the game as the Colts suffered a humiliating 46-9 defeat. Number 6, Buffalo Bills vs. Baltimore Ravens 2018 The Buffalo Bills were coming off a surprise playoff berth in the 2017 season, but everybody knew that that was a mirage. It didn't take a genius to guess that they would regress and fall near the bottom of the league standings again. The Bills offense, especially the O-line, was such a mess that head coach Sean McDermott chose to start the ineffective Nathan Peterman over promising rookie Josh Allen in week one against the Baltimore Ravens. Comes the blitz. He's got time though. And a wobbly throw is intercepted on the play. Picked up by Jefferson. To McDermott's credit, he wound up making the right call. Not starting Allen could have only hurt his confidence, because the Ravens' defense absolutely feasted on the Bills' offense, especially Peterman. Start taking advantage of some of their their height on the on the outside. Six defensive backs, and one of them just picked him off. Brandon Carr. Peterman played so poorly that Allen wound up taking over for him. The two Buffalo quarterbacks combined to complete only 11 of 33 pass attempts for 70 yards, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions while taking six sacks. The defense fared no better, allowing Joe Flacco to toss three touchdowns as the Ravens came away with an easy 47-3 victory. Number 5, Darrell Revis versus A.J. Green, 2016. There was good reason to believe that all-pro cornerback Darrell Revis would retain his dominant level in the 2016 season. He was only two years removed from a first-team all-pro selection, and he was named to his seventh career Pro Bowl in 2015 as a member of the New York Jets. But when Revis and company took to the field for a week one home tilt against the Cincinnati Bengals in 2016, let's just say AJ Green proved that father time had hit Revis. This day, folks, was the beginning of the end for Revis Island. The Bengals Pro Bowl wideout absolutely embarrassed Revis one-on-one, -on -one, finishing the game with 12 receptions for 180 yards and a touchdown. When they lost Marvin Jones and Mohamed Sanu, the free agency, looking for the long ball, and the man is there, Green has it for the touchdown! 10 of those catches, 152 of those yards, and the TD came with Revis in coverage. Unfortunately, it wasn't just an off day for Revis. He endured his worst season as a pro in 2016, and the Jets released him at the end of the year. Congrats to Green on essentially taking Revis Island off the real estate market. Number 4, Tom Brady vs. Buffalo Bills, 2003. Tom Brady absolutely embarrassed the Buffalo Bills during his 20-year tenure with the Patriots. Tommy Terrific went, wait for it, 32-3 and three against the Bills. Think about that for a second. Buffalo only took down the GOAT three times in 35 meetings. Bills fans have had very few fond memories of seeing their team go up against Brady. But there was one rather unforgettable opening week, way, way, way back in 2003, when the Bills welcomed the Patriots to town. As what is often regarded as his worst career game, Brady was atrocious against the Bills. He completed only 14 of 28 passes for 123 yards and zero touchdowns. He threw four interceptions and was sacked twice. One of those interceptions was returned for a touchdown by Sam Adams. Their defense had a three and out, rewarded for it. Intercepted, picked off right side. Here goes Sam, Sam Adams! As the home team came away with a 31 to zero victory. The good news for the Patriots, they only lost one more game the rest of the way, eventually defeating the Carolina Panthers to win their second Super Bowl in franchise history. Number three, 
Baltimore Ravens defense versus Peyton Manning, 2013. The good news here was that the Ravens were the defending Super Bowl 47 champions. The bad news was that franchise icon Ray Lewis retired and All-Pro safety Ed Reed signed with the Houston Texans in free agency. So the Ravens' new look defense had to expect some sloppiness in their Thursday night kickoff game against Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos. Because of a scheduling conflict with the Baltimore Orioles MLB team, the Ravens couldn't open the season at home, so they paid a visit to the Mile High City instead. Too bad for the Ravens, because eight months after shocking the Broncos in Denver with a thrilling overtime win in the divisional round, Manning and company got some oh-so-sweet revenge. Manning had a record day against the Ravens, completing 27 passes for 462 yards and seven touchdowns, which tied a single-game record. Picked up the blitz, flag is thrown. There's your first down and a lot more for Demarius Thomas. Manning wound up finishing the season with a record 55 touchdown passes, made largely possible by the stinker the Ravens defense put up. Oh, and Denver won the game 49-27. At least the Ravens offense made the score look uh, not as bad. Number 2. Dave Wilson versus Kansas City Chiefs, 1985. The New Orleans Saints welcomed the visiting Chiefs to the Louisiana Superdome for their 1985 season opener. Unfortunately, this game is best remembered for Saints quarterback Dave Wilson putting up one of the worst single-game performances in league history. Not just week one history. Wilson attempted 22 passes. Two, yes, two of them were completed for 30 yards. He threw two interceptions and was sacked three times. Wilson finished with a quarterback rating of 1.7. Yes, the man had as many passes completed as interceptions. On the bright side, Richard Todd came in to relieve Wilson and fared nicely by throwing for 162 yards and three touchdowns. The Saints lost 47 to 27 with 24 of those points coming in the fourth quarter. At least Todd made the score look a little friendly. Number one, Miami Dolphins versus Baltimore Ravens, 2019. The Miami Dolphins began a massive tank job before the 2019 season. They had a brand new coaching staff led by Brian Flores. Starting quarterback Ryan Tannehill was traded to the Tennessee Titans. Stud offensive tackle Laramie Tunsil and wideout Kenny Stills were traded to the Houston Texans. Yes, the Dolphins were on board the tank train. So, it was hard for Miami fans to get too mad at their team for their pathetic week one outing against the Ravens. The Dolphins were absolutely dominated by 2019 MVP Lamar Jackson, who threw for 324 yards and five touchdowns on only 17 completions. Jackson has all day. Looking deep for Hollywood Brown again. He's got it. Brown off to the races, and he stays on his feet. Touchdown! The Ravens had 265 rushing yards. The Dolphins finished with only 200 yards of offense, including a woeful 21 rushing yards. Miami turned the ball over three times. They committed nine penalties for 64 yards. The Ravens had the ball for 40 minutes and seven seconds. That's just sad if you're the Dolphins. And oh, the final score was 59 to 10. Atrocious, pitiful, shameful, pathetic, and embarrassing are just a few of the words that come to mind. It's gonna be hard for any players or teams to have a worse week one outing than the 2019 Dolphins. What changes would you make to our list? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.